Hi and welcome to this short presentation about the Occupational Therapy Program at Griffith University. My name is Matthew Molyneux and I'm Program Director and Head of the Discipline of Occupational Therapy at Griffith University and I wanted to use this as a chance to give you a bit of an overview of the program here. What I wanted to do is talk a bit about occupational therapy and how we see it from a Griffith perspective, although that's not unusual, but it's important because it has really influenced um, the way we've developed the program here at, the, here at Griffith and then provides an overview of the program, just so you've got a, a general idea of what the students go through throughout their four years here. First of all, then, one of the things we're really clear about here at Griffith is that the occupational therapy has huge potential. Um, and we joke that it has huge potential to influence the world and to take over the world. But more seriously, we want students to be very clear that occupational therapy, if you look on the right, really has a huge role to play in influencing the lives of many, many people in a very positive way. But also that the potential of occupational therapy is actually huge and really is only limited by our imagination in terms of how we could influence whole societies, populations, the way things are structured, etc. And so we really want the Griffith program to enable students to think about both of those ends of the spectrum, but we don't value one more than the other. What is occupational therapy? We use the World Federation of Occupational Therapists definition, and I've got a few extracts of that here that highlight a few of the key issues for us here at Griffith. First of all, occupational therapy is seen as a profession concerned with promoting health and well-being through occupation. The two things there that are important are that, first of all, we are about promoting health and well-being very broadly. That's not just about independence, for example, because some people don't want to be independent. Um, it's whatever enables someone to experience health and well-being. That's our goal. And that we do that through occupation. Occupation is a cornerstone of the program here at Griffith. Um, and links in very nicely with the World Federation definition. As a result of all of that, the primary goal of occupational therapy is to enable people to participate in the activities of everyday life or the occupations that they need, want or have to do. How do we do that? We've set ourselves a, an ambitious aim. By the end of the four years, we want students to have become occupation-focused, theory-driven, evidence-based and client-centred occupational therapists who are able to practice in current, emerging and future settings and roles in order to enhance the health of individuals, communities and populations. That's the program aim and that is something which we use to, dev to devise all of the learning experiences in the occupational therapy courses particularly, but also to drive the decision as to which other courses to include in the program. A few aspects of that to highlight. First of all, occupation focused is very important here. Occupation is unique to occupational therapy. We have particular skills and expertise in that area, and so we want our student to be very strong in that area. We also want students to recognize that occupational therapy practice is driven by theory, but also based on evidence, and also importantly is client-centered. We work in partnership with the people that we work with, to achieve the goals that they want. We also want our students to recognize that they can and will be able to work in current emerging and future settings and that that may mean that they are working with individuals, communities and populations. We've incorporated all of those features, all of those key elements into the Occupational Therapy Program here at Griffith. Our aim is that by the end of it, students should feel confident and comfortable to go and work anywhere that they think occupational therapy could make a difference. And that might be in current settings, working with individuals, it might be in settings and roles that we don't even know of yet, working with different groups of people. So we've got a very broad aim. In order to achieve that, we've designed a program that includes some very specific learning experiences, and I want to spend a bit of time going over the program now. So year one makes use of Griffith Health's foundation year, which is a number of courses that are studied by students from a whole range of programs. Those include, in this case, anatomy and physiology. So our students will study two semesters of anatomy and physiology. They will also undertake a course, Intro to Biomedical Data Analysis, which is essentially STATS. And they will also complete Health Challenges for the 21st Century, which is a public health course that gets students right from first year 
thinking about what are some of the bigger health issues affecting whole groups of people and our society. Interpersonal skills in first semester is a course run out of the School of Social Work and Human Services, which gets students very practically thinking about and practicing their interpersonal communication. And they also complete a fairly standard introduction to individual and social psychology in second semester. In first year, they also complete two OT courses, Occupation and Occupational Therapy 1 and 2. In first semester, the focus is very much on understanding occupation and the relationship between occupation and health. We also introduce the Canadian model of occupational performance and engagement. In semester two, the focus starts to move towards how does that knowledge of occupation and health influence occupational therapy practice or how can we use it within occupational therapy practice. And so we introduce students to the OT process and in particular the Canadian practice process framework and start to get students thinking about how we work with people. What also happens through those courses is students are going out, go out one hour a week to a local primary school to work in prep classrooms. In semester one, that's very much about just engaging with the children in classroom activities um, and using it as a chance to develop their communication skills. But also it's a chance for us to use the theory that we've covered in university out in the school and also to bring some of those experiences back into the university classroom. In second semester, the students will undertake some sort of assessment of the children or the environment and then throughout the semester refine those, that assessment and write a report which we will then submit to the school. What also happens in year one is in that course, in those OT courses, students meet with occupational therapy mentors about three times a semester. They are occupational therapists from around the state and northern New South Wales who provide their time to help students build professional networks and to help them think about how some of the material they're covering in those other courses link to occupational therapy practice. In second year, there are a number of public health courses again, very much about fleshing out some of the detail as to what are some of the ways that we can intervene in public health issues, how can we understand the needs of a whole group, a whole community, a population of people, and how can we plan programs to address some of those. There's also a course on First Australians, Social, Emotional and Wellbeing, um, which is studied with a whole range of students as well. There's also Introduction to Social Theory, which is essentially sociology and public health research methods, so thinking about different the, the research process, different research methodologies, etc. There are also a number of occupational therapy courses, one year-long course, Fundamentals of Occupational Therapy Practice. It um, builds on students' knowledge of occupational therapy process, occupation and health, but develops their skills in assessment, intervention, planning, in intervention, implementation, evaluation, all those sorts of things, focusing uh, particularly in first semester on clinical reasoning. And then understanding the context of occupation is thinking about the wider environment in which occupation occurs and in which occupational therapy exists to start to bring together some of those public health and other perspectives, but to do so within an occupational therapy framework. Year three is split into two Occupation, health and participation. Semester one is about individuals and semester two is about communities and populations. In semester one, students will undertake the university-based learning, occupation, health and participation individuals intensively over about six or seven weeks and that will be followed by a seven-week full-time placement. In semester two, communities and populations will be covered, will be delivered over the whole semester. And during that time, students, all students will undertake a part-time placement for about 12 weeks. And that will be in an environment where there isn't an occupational therapist, but where they will be supervised by an occupational therapist. In semester two, the honours stream will start where some students, those who are applying and are successful, will undertake a research project, usually with a member of academic staff and possibly with a co-supervisor who is a local occupational therapist. Those students who don't undertake honours will have the chance to undertake an open elective where they can choose any course they want from the university. In year four, all students will undertake advanced occupational therapy, which will be a chance for students to develop more advanced skills 
um, or develop deeper knowledge around particular aspects of occupational therapy, working with people with more complex needs or working in more complex situations. All students will undertake a seven-week full-time placement in first semester. Honours students will continue and past level students will undertake a course contributing to the community where in groups they will be paired or paired with a community organisation and that could be a group of occupational therapists or it could be a charitable organisation, it could be a whole range of things and that group of students will have to work with that community organisation to develop and deliver something that is meaningful to that group. In semester two, honours continues. All students will undertake emerging as an occupational therapist in which they will spend time thinking particularly about that transition from student to therapist and a large part of that will be about looking at some of the job opportunities. Both what are some of the current jobs where occupational therapists are working in more traditional roles but also what are some of the opportunities out there that might not be called occupational therapist but could very well be done by an occupational therapist. Past students will um, undertake a seminar course where the contemporary issues in occupational therapy where they will run a seminar on a weekly basis which will be open to students and hopefully occupational therapists who are able to attend looking at a particular issue facing the profession or healthcare more generally. And then all students will undertake a final 10-week full-time practice education experience. What happens throughout all of those years also is Griffith Health has an interprofessional education stream um, which starts in first year with some of those foundation year courses, particularly health challenges, but also moves into second year where students complete some simulation activities with a whole range of health professionals and the use of simulated patients is something that happens in a few different courses throughout the program. So that continues right from year one right through to year four. Just to summarise the practice education component, our students start practice education right from about week two or three in first year. So in first year they have one hour a week at the local primary school for the whole year. In year two they have two hours a week all year in residential aged care services, sorry aged care services. Year three, seven weeks full time and 12 weeks part time and year four, seven weeks full time and 10 weeks part time. So that's an overview of the practice education component. I hope that's been useful in terms of providing a, an overview of occupational therapy here at Griffith and the program the students undertake and highlighting a few of the key features of the program that might be of interest to you as practice educators. Thank you.